Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game preview, another special Kickstarter preview. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Super Villain. This galaxy is mine. This is for two to four players, take about 30 to 60 minutes to play. It's for ages 14 plus. And in Super Villain, This Galaxy is Mine, you're going to be playing as a super villain, trying to get five victory points by taking your minions, uh, trying to complete various different nefarious plans and schemes, launching asteroids at other people, and trying to shoot down asteroids that other people are launching at. At you. It's got a lot of dual use cards, a lot of different things going on in this game. Let's open it up and I'll show you how it works. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Super Villain. This Galaxy is Mine. Before we get started, I want to mention this is the promotional copy in front of me, so take everything you see here with a grain of salt, even though it looks like a final version of the game. So first and foremost, we've got our handy dandy rule booklet, 19 pages, double sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. It is incredibly well done. Most game companies would have made this about 9 or 10 pages, but they took the extra time to put all these pictures and illustrations to help you learn the game. So big thumbs up on that right there. So in Super Villain, This Galaxy is Mine, you we're going to be playing as a supervillain. You're going to use minions, and you're going to be trying to get to five victory points. You're going to get these victory points by building these secret contraptions here. You're going to be able to build those by getting minions and hopefully dodging asteroids. What am I talking about? Let's go over the components, then we'll get into the gameplay. So first, we're going to have two decks of cards here, and these are dual-use cards. So first, we have these cards right here. These are going to be different contraptions that you're going to try and build. And when you first have them, they will be face up like this, and they will have how much it's going to cost you to build it. Also, some of them will have actions that you'll be able to take right here while they're not built. Eventually, once you've spent the minions and they've built them, you will then flip it over like this, and then you'll gain victory points that will also give you another action. It might be persistent, it might be a one-time use where you have to destroy it. They vary. Also, this is a dual-use card because if you decide to, you can just use this as an asteroid and you can shoot this at other people's uh, minions or bases or various different things, which is bad for them. But we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the morning-day-evening phase. Uh, next, you're going to have your minion cards right here, which once again are dual-use cards. So at the top, you're going to have a number, number, and it says 600 million, but really you just need to focus on the 600 here. That's how many minions you're going to be using to build a specific project, and you can play these onto your projects to build them because as we mentioned, those have big numbers up here. Now, the other thing you can do with this card is you can completely ignore the top and you can actually do the bottom part round, right down here and that will give you a special ability that you will be able to do. Uh, it might supercharge your asteroids, it might, uh, they do a variety of different things in the game. Uh, next, you're going to get these little tokens. These will be for supercharging your asteroids, which are really stinking annoying when people are shooting them at you. And this one is going to protect your bases. This is kind of a shield from asteroids. Asteroids are a big theme in this game. Last but not least, everyone's going to get a handy-dandy little player aid card, which is incredibly useful, two-sided, and this is a really stinking nice player aid card. So let's walk you through a mock turn, and you'll get a feel for how the game works. So first and foremost, everybody's going to have two minion cards in your hand, and then you are going to start in the morning phase and you're going to work your way down to the evening phase and then the next player will do that and the next player it's one of those sort of games where you will do everything and then the next player will do everything and then the next player will do everything so on and so forth so first in the morning phase your asteroids might hit the target so the last round you might have launched asteroids at people's bases and various different stuff that they have and if they happen to hit that is very good for you that is very bad for them i'm not going to go into the the full technicalities of what you get to do because you get to draw cards you get to do various different things but it's awesome when your asteroids can get through next you're going to draw yourself a minion card and you're going to start a new project or launch an asteroid uh, so this is going to allow you to take one of your cards that you have and so this is going to allow you to take one of these cards right here and either decide if you want to start building this project right here so this one dr evil's cat or if you want to launch it at someone else at which point you would just kind of aim it at somebody else's things once you've done that, you'll move on to the day phase, which is where you're going to do every single thing on this list if you want to do it. And this is actually the bulk of the rule booklet going over all these different actions. Uh, so you get to do all these. So the first thing is you can play one mob. So you can play it specifically for its mob power to help you build things like so. So let's just say I might slide that right in there because, boom, that's going to give me 300,000. You also can play one minion ops. That's what's the bottom part right down here, which will allow you to do a special ability. So let's see what we got. Change your astro or charge your asteroid to a minion card if this asteroid is destroyed. Uh, so that would be really great if I had any asteroids currently out there. That would be a really, really stinking cool one. Uh, I also want to mention that it says you can only play one of these per turn, both as a minion and both as a uh, 
a uh, minion ops down here. However, there are some special cards in there that will have some symbology. Let me see if I can find you some of them. Uh, that will allow you to do more than one, well, allow you to do two on a turn. So this is a swift minion ops, which means you can do that and another minion ops. And I don't remember the exact, oh, boosted, I think it is. Uh, maybe it's the boosted one. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one. That lets you do two actions or play down two minions as well up top. So, Next thing you're going to do is you're going to play any number of boosted mobs and swift minion ops, which I talked a little bit right there. So you're going to be able to play more than one card in your turn if you have those special cards. You're going to be able to shoot down asteroids, because I mentioned you are going to be pointing asteroids at other people, but other people are also going to point asteroids at you. But in order to do that, you have to discard valuable minion cards. How that works is if someone has a regular asteroid, then you can discard one minion card to get rid of it. And someone has a supercharged asteroid, then you have to get rid of three stinking minion cards to get rid of it. Uh, which obviously is something that you're probably not going to want to do, but hey, you're going to have to. Last but not least, you can use the abilities of your projects and secret facilities. So uh, these are the projects when they're like this. These are the facilities like this, and you'll be able to use as many of those as you have. So the more you have, the more powerful you're going to be able to do different things. Last but not least, you're going to discard down to seven minion cards, and you're going to pass your turn. And that really is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be doing that over and over and over again. And eventually, as you progress, you will complete different things... And you'll have asteroids going at different people, and you'll be working on various different projects. And you're going to do this until someone is able to get to five points. Now, there also are some variants in the game. Uh, there's a team variant you can play. There's also a seven-point variant you'll be able to do. There's a couple different variants in the back. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to be doing inside of Supervillain, The Galaxy is Mine. Alrighty then, super villain. This galaxy is mine. Coming to Kickstarter very, very soon. I'll be sure to post that Kickstarter link down below. Who might be digging this game? First and foremost, if you like a game with a little bit of humor in it, this one definitely might scratch that itch. From the artwork uh, to the card text to the rule booklet, you know, they tried to just have a tint of humor in this game, and I always appreciate when games are able to do that. Next, if you're looking for a game that's easy to learn and easy to teach while still having some meat on the bones, this one definitely does that as well. I mean, Really, this is a pretty straightforward game, but there's, all, as it says on the box, an infinite amount of combos that you'll be able to do in this game, which obviously is going to appeal to a lot of people. Last but not least, if you like dual-use cards, this one definitely has some really unique ideas with the dual-use cards. You know, am I going to take this one for the minions, or am I going to take it for the special ability down here? How, When do I want to do these swift ones? Do I want to spend these right now, or do I want to save it for potentially when people start launching asteroids at me? Or do I want to launch an asteroid, or do I want to start building this really cool cool contraption down here there's lots of different stuff with the dual use cards in this game so if that's your cup of tea this one might be for you as well but that is super villain this galaxy is mine it looks like it might be your cup of tea like i just said be sure to check this one out if you're enjoying what i do please sure to click on that subscribe button down below let me know in the comments below from the movies in the mcu who is your favorite villain from all the movies in the mcu for me personally I think it was pre-MCU, but I really like Michael Clark Duncan as Kingpin. So I know I, he's not MCU, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat and say him anyway. I really liked him in Daredevil, but in the current MCU, I would probably go with oh, it's it's pretty basic. But I guess I'd just say Loki. Loki is pretty stinking awesome. But let me know in the comments below who's your favorite Marvel villain in the current MCU. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Splat, motherfucking blast.